Hello, hello. Welcome. Erenia. Jessica Perez. María René. Brenda, Elsa. René Lexi. Welcome, René Lexi. Evelyn and William, right? It's a pleasure. Hello, everybody. Your throat is okay, Elsa? Elsa? No. It's okay, teacher. Thank you. You can speak now. Oh, thank you. Right? Yes. <laughs> yeah, finally. I okay. come to speak very much. Yeah. After uh, syrup, you know, jarabe, uh, lemons, yes. soups. <laughs> okay. And who's there? Who's there? Hello, hello. Who's there, Elsa? In the cameras. That's your son or your daughter? It's my... Um, daughter, son? No. Daughter, daughter, daughter. Daughter? No, daughter. no, no, no. It's son. Mi sobrina. Ah, it's your, your niece. Your niece. My niece. Hello, hello. Hello, how are you? Fine. 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 Okay, it's a pleasure. My name is Dudley. Do. D U Tuki. Tuki. No, no, I know Tuki. I am Dudley. Dudley. <laughs> goodbye. Goodbye. Take care. Goodbye. Bye bye. Okay. Thank you. Now let's begin with the class. I have a message here. Give me a second. I have a message. Teacher, estaré de oyente, right? René Alexi, okay. Excellent. René Alexi, I understand. Let me see what is my pen. Right here. Okay, René Alexi, right? Mm -hmm. Good, oyente. Now let's start with the with the class. Sorry, give me a second here. Teacher. Yes, yes, yes. Eh, eh, voy manejando, teacher. Ya voy a llegar a conectarme a mi casa. Oiga, no, voy manejando. No problem, Delia. I understand. Pero igual ahorita lo voy, lo voy escuchando. Okay, excellent. Oh, I like it. Yes. I like it, Delia. Good. Let me copy. Delia going home right okay now let's start i will open the the presentation give me a second inglés corporativo basic number one number 16 right preposition of place Okay. Preposition of place. I am ready. Now I will share with you. Okay. Okay, hello, hello. Welcome to this class, right? Today is how to use preposition of places. 25th, it's not 24th, it's 25th. July 25th, right? Okay, good. Now let's begin. Uh, you need number four. Yeah, we almost finished. Unit one, unit two, unit three. This is unit four. What is the name of the unit number four, Irenia? What is the name? Uh, address and place. place. Addresses and places. Thank you. Addresses and, and places. Uh -huh. Erenia, can you read the objective for the class, please? Uh, 
Can you read the the location of my other workplace? Okay, thank you very much. The location, location, right? It means uh, it's in front, location. it's behind, uh, location. It's not location, no? <laughs> it's the ubication of the place, right? <laughs> okay, good. Let me see, let's begin, right? Okay, these are some places. Listen, please. A bank, a restaurant, a pharmacy, a school, a bookstore, a taxi stand, a mall. So, Elsa, can you read again, please? Read. Uh, only one? Oh. No, all. Bank oh. to mall. To the bank okay. to the mall, right? Please. Okay. A bank, a restaurant, a pharmacy, school, a bookstore, a taxi stand, a mall. Okie dokie. Now, listen. A closed store, an electronic store, a fire station, a police station, a shoe store, a toy store, a park. Okay. Uh, Kenya, can you read please again? A clothes store, an electronic store, a fire station, a police station, a shoe store, a toy store, a park. Thank you very much. Just listen to this word, Kenya. Store. Say? Store. No, 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 no. Wait, wait a minute. Give me a second here. Look. Store, right? Uh, remember in Spanish we say a a s right? But in English only we pronounce Kenya the word store. Store. Uh huh. Correct. Student. Student. School. School. Excellent. Very good. Very good. So I have another message. Sorry. Uh, teacher, estaré de oyente. Okay. Uh, Brenda Lee. Okay. Brenda Lee. Nieto Elias. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Now, let's go to the next one. A dry cleaners, a gas station, a hotel, a supermarket, a convenience store, a travel agency, a church. Okay, Jose Atilio, can you help me? Read all the list, please. Dry cleaner, gas station, etc. Read, please. All, all. Uh, yes, dry cleaners to church. Ah, okay. A bank, a restaurant, a pharmacy, a school, a bookstore, a taxi stand, a mall, a clothes store, an electronic store, a fire station, a police station, a shoes store, a toy store, a park, a dry clean, a gas station, a hotel, a supermarket, a convenience store, a travel agency, a church. Thank you very much. Okay, and again, do not forget that when we say, look, when we say stand, stand, store. Say it till you stand. Repeat, stand. Stand. Store. Store. Excellent. Excellentoso, right? Thank you. Now, any question about the meaning? How do you say in Spanish? What is the meaning? Examples, etc., etc. Questions? Question, questions? Do you understand? 
Okay. So these are places in the city, right? When you go to a city, you, you can find these places, right? Uh, in San Salvador, for example, it's very common, right? Okay. It's very common. Many of those, these places. Now, let's continue, right? Look, this is a map. It's a, a map. And there are many places. A bank, a mall. Mall is commercial center, right? A restaurant. A sport palace. Sport palace is like a, we have in El Salvador Palacio de los Deportes, for example, right? Oh. Mm -hmm. I guess it's El Famoso Hernández. Uh -huh. In El Salvador, next to Parque Infantil, right? We have a, a similar sport palace. I, I suppose. Then we have a park, Arrows Company, but it's a, a company, right? A school, church, city hall. City hall is like the alcaldía, right? The major city, city hall. And book word. The book word is like a place where you can buy books, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Now, repeat after me, please. Repeat after me. Bank. Mall. Restaurant. Sports Palace. Park. Arrows Company, School, Church, City Hall, Book War. And now we have some streets and avenue. We have Barrio Street, Roosevelt Street, First Avenue. And second avenue, right? Okay. Any question? No question. Very good. Now let's continue, right? Good. Remember, we were working with in, on, and at when we talk about time, right? In time, we say on. November the 2nd, on the weekend, on July 25th, for example, today, right? We use in for a month, in July, in August, for years in 2023, in the morning, in the afternoon, remember? And with at... We use at three o'clock, at midnight, at noon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. But now this is about time. Today we're going to learn about place, location, right? Pay attention. On Fourth Avenue, on the corner, on the street, right? So in general, we use on when we talk about surface. Surface, right? Superficie. Superficie, right? On the table, on the floor, on the street, on the avenue, right? On. Superficie. Surface. Right? Good. When do we use in? When the place is close, totally close, partially closed. For example, if you are in a, on, in a desk, right? Dentro de un, de un pupitre, right? Escritorio, es pupitre. You say in, but you're not totally covered. No es que está completamente cubierto, right? No. You're partially. Or when you are in a room, right? Then also when you are in a forest, in bosque, right? We say in the forest. When you are in a city, 
in San Salvador, for example, right? You don't say on, on San Salvador. No, you say in San Salvador, in the city, in the town, in the forest, in, right? Here we have the example, right? In El Salvador, in San Salvador, in the park, in the neighborhood, vecindario, right? In the neighborhood, in. So again, when the place is close, totally close, or partially close. Totalmente cerrado o parcialmente cerrado, right? Totally or partially close, right? Good. And when we say at, we talk about specific places. Specific places. At the meeting room, at work, at the bank. You are in your company. You say, hey, mira, nos reunimos. Well, sí, hombre, ¿a dónde nos vemos? Ah, ahí en el salón de reuniones, you know? At the meeting room. It's one specific place, right? At work, at the bank. So when, when you are in the city, for example, you, you say, uh, what place you are in the city? At, at the shoe store? At the... At the Pizza Hut, you know, restaurant, right? Etc., etc., specific, right? Okay, now I will repeat. On surfaces, superficies, in closed places, totally or partially closed, in. And at, when we talk about some specific places. Questions? Do you have questions? In, donde dijo que era? Close. No. Lugares cerrados. Lugar. Total o parcialmente cerrados. Right? For example, when you are on a desk, cuando ustedes sienten un, en un pupitre, no es que esté cubierto totalmente. ¿no? Solo está cubierto parcialmente. So you say in the desk. In the desk, right? Y también cuando está en un salón, in your bedroom, for example, in your dining room, in your bathroom, <laughs> yes, in the classroom, uh -huh. okay, cuando el lugar es cerrado total o completamente, we say in, right, okay, Good. yes, teacher, any question, teacher, mm -hmm. podríamos decir in sería como estar dentro de, dentro de, correcto, bueno. Yes, dentro de. Ajá. Y on sería sobre. Sobre algo, right? Sobre la pared, sobre el, like the Spider-Man, right? Spider-Man, Spider-Man, on the wall. Bueno, el, el hombre araña también en la techo, the, on the roof. <laughs> on the roof. On the table, sobre la mesa, right? sobre el piso, on the floor. On the sidewalk, sobre la acera on the street, on the avenue, right? Surface. And at is for a specific places. Mm -hmm. For example, in the table, right? In mi mesa que tengo aquí la computadora, en la esquinita hay un celular. Entonces, at the corner, está en la esquina. My cell phone is at the corner. A specific place, right? Understand? Of course, we're going to see example, right? Let's go to the example. On, when do you use on? Her house is on Bank Street. So in general, on the street, you say on. Cuando hablamos de calles, on, right? We go to school on 34th Avenue. Cuando hablamos de avenida también, cualquier avenida, right? Digamos o no digamos el nombre. So we say on. I work on the 10th floor. Trabajo en el décimo piso. Right? On. In. When the place is closed, right? She lives in an apartment. They live in a house. I work in an office. In. Lugar cerrado totalmente o parcialmente. Okay? Good. Now, at. When do we use at? I live at 50 Main Street. He works at a bookstore. 
they study at the Brook School. A specific place. A specific avenue. Notice you say, teacher, pero ahí dice Main Street, la calle principal. Y usted dijo que on es para las calles. Yes, but here we have 50. Pero aquí estamos diciendo el número de la casa, miren. En la calle principal hay un montón de casas, de negocios, right? Pero solo hay un negocio o un lugar, una casa, no sé, que tiene el número 50. Entonces, específico, yes. Cuando decimos el número de la casa o del negocio, ¿no? específico. So, at, right? At 50 ministry. Questions? Questions? No questions? No? Okay, repeat after me. Come on. Her house is on Bank Street. Repeat, please. Her house is on Bank Street. We go to school on 34th Avenue. 34th Avenue. We go to school on 34th Avenue. I work on the 10th floor. She lives in an apartment. They live in a house. I work in an office. I live at 50 Main Street. He works at a bookstore. They study at the Brook School. Okay? Now, we're going to make an exercise. First, uh, I will take the tense for the moment, right? Uh, Jessica Díaz, Delia González, René Alexi, and Brenda Lee, ya les tomé la asistencia. Van a estar de, de oyentes. Now, Elsa. Present, teacher. Jessica Carolina. Jessica Carolina. Estenia. Freddy. Kenia. Present. Gracias, María. Ada. Ada también me dijo que iba a estar de oyente, creo. Por el momento, right? Jonathan. Brenda. Teacher, yo. Who? Delia. Delia. Ah, me dijo que iba a estar de oyente, por eso ya le había puesto la asistencia. Ah, ok, teacher, ya que sí llego a casa. Ok, sí, es que ya mencioné los nombres de los oyentes, ¿verdad? Jessica okay. Díaz, Delia González, Ada Concepción, René Alexi y Brenda Lee. Son los oyentes, ya les tomé la asistencia. Yes. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Brenda. Present. Ingrid. Ingrid. Jessica Pérez. Present. Thank you. José Atilio. 
Present. María René. René. Present. También voy a estar de oyente un no, rato okay. porque luego. Ok, no problem, María René. Eh, okay, ok, Evelyn. Present, teacher. Thank you. Oh, it's crying, the princess. Ok, William. Present. Yeah. And eh, Erenia. Present. It's the weather, right, Evelyn? It's very hot. The babies feel the, the weather, so they they feel uncomfortable. Los bebés, hasta los bebés se ponen incómodos por el calor, yes. This hot is tremendous, right? Okay, uh, present teacher, René Alexia. Okay, very good. Me preocupa Freddy porque dijo que no se había conectado a la última clase y ahora tampoco está. Ok, veamos el grupo, perdón que les dijiste tiempo. Ok, veamos. Eh... Let me see here, right? Ok, tengo Chachioli. No sé quién es Chachioli. Ok, Jessica, mañana, primero Dios, dicha, ya me pongo al día. Pido permiso, ok. Jessica Díaz, Jessica Carolina. Ok. Luego dice Chachi Oli, buenas noches, teacher. Este día solo estaré de oyente, pero no reconozco quién es Chachi Oli. No, bueno. Luego René Alexi, estaré de oyente, muy bien. Y María René, buenas noches, estaré de oyente. Muy bien, ya lo copiamos. Copiado, 10-4 ellos. Ok, very good. Solo me queda la duda quién es Chachi Oli. Porque así, así lo identifica mi teléfono, sorry. Así dice Chachi Oli. ¿Quién me ayuda? ¿Investigativo? Quizás la compañera que se llama Olivia. No. Ajá, gracias María, right? Ajá, Chachi, Gracia María, Grachi, no sé, algo así me suena. <risa> Quizá Gracia María es. Sí, porque no me contestó. Y luego, este, Jessica, con estrellitas, es Jessica Carolina, entiendo, ¿verdad? Porque Jessica Araceli está de oyente y Jessica Pérez está presente con nosotros aquí. Ok, now let's continue, right? Let me see. Eh, can you help me reading? Eh, Kenya, read the examples with on, please. Okay. Her house is on Back Street. We go to a school on. Uh, we go to a school on. 34th? 34th Avenue. I Ave work on. Avenue. Avenue? Avenue, sorry. Oh. I work on the 10th floor. <laughs> Okay, thank you very much. In, read the examples, please. Uh, Brenda. She lives in apartment. They live in a house. I work in an office. In an office? I work in an office. Very good, thank you. Jessica, please. Jessica Perez, at. Read the example, please. I live at, ¿cómo se pronuncia 50? 50. I live at 50 Main Street. 50. 50, 50. 50. Main, sorry, te eché que mucha bulla aquí. Fry, we listen, la escuchamos, no se preocupe. He work at, Bookstore. Book Bookstore. Book Book no, bookstore. 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 Book They study at the book school. Say please, school. School. 
study. Study. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Now we're going to practice uh, spelling, right? Spelling. Uh, let me see. Jose Atilio, you begin, please. Can you spell the word house? Um, H O U S E. House, correct. Good. Now, uh, Evelyn, please, can you spell school? Let me see. <laughs> We go to at school on T4 Avenue. Uh huh. But what I needed to spell school, like house, Jose Atilio say H O U S E, house. What I need is that you spell uh, school, spelling, alphabet. Okay. S C H O O L. Cling. Correct. Thank you very much. Now, please, uh, William, I need you to spell the word Lord. Spell it, please. F L L O O R. Correct. Thank you. Uh, apartment. Irenia, please. Apartment. A P A R. E M E N T. Okie dokie. Thank you very much, right? Okay, now, uh, Elsa, I need you to spell the word leave. Leave. Elsa, do you copy? Sorry, teacher, I forgot my microphone. Microphone, microphone, microphone. Mm -hmm. Microphone. Uh, live. L -I -V -E. L-I-V-E. Correct. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Now, can you help me, Kenya, with office? Can you spell office, please? Office. O F F I C E. Correct. Thank you very much. Brenda, please, can you spell street? S T R E E T. Okie dokie. Uh, Jessica Perez, please, can you spell bookstore? B O O um, K A F T O R R R E R E R E very good nice ya se fue el ruido verdad Jessica ya se acabó la piñata es que me vine para el patio por eso <laughs> okay no problem thank you thank you for the cooperation right okay thank you now let me see after Jessica we have uh, Jose Atilio please Jose Atilio can you spell school, please? School. A school. S C H O O L. School. Nice. Thank you very much. Now let's continue, right? Good. Now, uh, what is the correct use, right? Prepositional of place. And also, we're going to use the simple present, right? 
uh, the simple present, right? So where do or does your brother? Does. Okay. Well, I, thank you very much. But I will give you, thank you, Delia, right? Your home, yes. Delia? Your home? Yes, yes, yes. Now, la vamos a activar entonces. Activation. Okay. Okay, now I will give you some minutes to complete this. Le voy a dar unos dos minutitos para completar esto. Yes. Okay, take your time, please. Bon appetit, Delia. Easy, easy, easy. Come on. Especially if you're eating semita, come on. Enjoy. <laughs> okay, come on. Let's work. The news, right? Déjeme recordarle que terminamos nuestras clases el 31 de julio, right? Que el día viernes tenemos que dejar terminado las cuatro unidades y los dos exámenes de medio curso y de curso de finalización de curso. Ex el examen final. También quiero recordarles que el día lunes 31 vamos a llenar una encuesta y que ese día no puede faltar absolutamente nadie. Eh, voy a comunicarme con Freddy, espero que pueda resolver sus problemas de, de internet, porque creo que eso lo, lo está en, impidiendo conectarse. Pero si sí, eh, el último día es un requisito indispensable que nadie falte, ¿ok? Ese día se va a llenar una encuesta. Y hay tres requisitos para pasar el curso. Requisito uno. Completar la plataforma, obteniendo un 80% como mínimo. Obviamente usted no va a tener 80, usted va a tener 100, yo lo sé. Yes. Número dos, conectarse a al menos el 80% de las clases. Eso indica conectarse desde el principio hasta el final. Por eso pasamos listado tres veces, ¿sí? Y eh, no faltar, no faltar a las clases. Y número tres, llenar esta encuesta el lunes. Decir que todos tenemos que estar el lunes. Si alguien falla por algún motivo de emergencia, se debe comunicar con inglés corporativo y después llenaría la encuesta. No sé, bueno, ellos le, le van a decir cómo llenarla, ¿verdad? Para que usted eh, tenga los tres requisitos, ¿ok? Good. Continue working, please, continue. Continúo. Perdónen la tanta interrupción. Ahí solo estoy dando los anuncios. Okay, ready? Let's start with number one. Volunteers, please, number one. Volunteers, raise your hands and say, yes, me. Teacher. 
Okay, thank you. Eh, Elsa o oh, Erenia. Elsa. Oh, Elsa, Elsa, Elsa. Okay, good. Thank you, Elsa. <laughs> okay. Now, where do or does? Does. Does, correct. Where does? Where does your brother work? Work. My goodness, Elsa. I miss you. Ya la extrañábamos. <laughs> yes, okay. He works. Uh -huh. In, on, or at? In. Okay. In is correct. But also you can use at. The two prepositions are correct here. You can say he works in an office or he works at an office, right? Mm -hmm. Why did you? But, huh? Sorry? Why? Because Why? office is a specific place. And when you say in, you refer that you are close place. Okay? Cuando decimos que él trabaja en una oficina, ok, estamos diciendo que el lugar es encerrado. Pero que también es un lugar específico. No podemos decir, eh, por ejemplo, él trabaja, él trabaja en una oficina. Entonces, es un lugar específico, digamos, dentro de la ciudad. Ok. Entonces, podemos usar okay. both. Se pueden usar both. Aunque en este contexto es más apropiado in. Pero si alguien le dice at, no estaría equivocado. Ok. Thank you, Elsa. Thank you very much. Number two. Volunteers, number two. Mi teacher. Ajá, Delia. Where do you study French? Where do you study French? No, say, Delia, study. 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 Okay, that's it. Study French. Le mademoiselle Delia parle le français? No. Ne parle français? Mademoiselle Delia? No. <laughs> no. Oh, Not at all. Nice. Ne merci beaucoup. No, I don't speak. It's, I know only one expression. So we study, Delia? We study in English corporativo. In is possible. But remember, uh, we are giving a name. At. At, right? At English corporativo. Because it's a specific. It's very specific. But okay. also, I repeat, if we're talking about the buildings, estamos hablando de la, del edificio de inglés corporativo, ¿ok? Eh, y estamos adentro del lugar, entonces podemos decir, we study in, se puede también. Pero vaya, mm -hmm. en este contexto, ad es más apropiado. Y cuando dijimos office, como decía eh, Elsa, ¿verdad? Es más apropiado in. ¿Ok? Pero también podemos usar at y aquí también we study in. Depende del contexto del que estamos hablando. Si estamos hablando que está fuera o dentro, o sea, in o at, right? Ok, thank you very much. Now let's go thank to you. number, number three. No, thank you. Thank you, Delia. Number three. Maybe Ajá. Uh -huh. eh, José Tilio. Where does your neighborhood Where work. does your neighbor, vecino, right? Mm -hmm. work. work. Thank you, Atilio. Atilio knows the rule that says that every time we use the auxiliary, in this case, does, right? The verb is in the base form. Work. We don't say works. We don't say working. We don't say work. ED, right? Only work. Why? Because of the auxiliary, that, right? Jose Atilio, she works in, at, or on a factory. At. at. At, right? At is correct, but you can also say in a factory. Both are acceptable, right? But in this context, it's more appropriate to say in. in. You can say at, I repeat. You can say it, but it's more appropriate just to use, to use in, right? 
But we, what you cannot say is, I work on a factory. No, in this case, no, right? In at possibilities. But uh, using on, no. Thank you, Jose Atilio. Thank you very much. Now, number four, please. I have a message. Estaré doyente. Ingrid. Okay, Ingrid. Nice. Bueno. Qué mal que no pueda participar, pero al menos va a estar con nosotros, ¿verdad, Ingrid? Ok, okidoki. Now, volunteers for number four, please. Come on, volunteers. Number four. Mi teacher. Eh, Jessica Araceli, ya está activada. Ok, thank you. Yes. Activation. Ah, pues entonces el otro mensaje fue de Jessica Carolina, que no va a poder estar ahora, sí. Voy a regañar a los papás de nuestras Jessicas porque a las tres les puso un nombre bien bonito, ¿verdad? <risa> <risa> ok, Jessica Araceli, come on. Where? Where do your parents Ajá, live? Nice. Your parents? Live. Live, correct. Again, you don't say lives, you say live, right? Ok. Live. They live? In? Mm -hmm. Wait a minute, Jessica. What? Wait, wait. He says, la casa número 58 en la calle Arce, right? Do you think this is specific? Yes or no? Estamos hablando de algo bien específico, yes. Jessica. So, the proposition? At. At, correct. So, in this case, we don't say on, we don't say in at right because you say very specific place good now we're going to make but here we're going to take a decision in number one right and uh, in uh, both are possible but we're going to say in right ambos son correctos pero uh, vamos a tomar uh, in right okay question and answer let's begin Question number one, Jessica Carol, no, eh, Elsa, question, Jessica Araceli, answer. Number one, please. Where does your brother work? Uh, he's, he works in an office. Okay, dokie, thank you. Now, number, Kenya, please, question. Delia, answer. Number two. Please, number two, ready? Where do you study French? We study at English Corporativo. Good, thank you. Thank you very much, right? So don't forget that is study, right? Study. Mm -hmm. Now, number three. Eh... Brenda, versus, uh, versus, no, Brenda and Jessica Perez, please. Number three. Are you ready, Brenda? Uh, where does your neighbor, neighbor, um, como se, Work. How do you pronounce? Never work. Now again, again, Brenda. She works. No wait, in... no, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. Relax, Brenda. Where does your neighbor work? Repeat, Brenda. Where does your neighbor work? Excellent. Also now, uh, Jessica Perez, please. She works in a factory. Correct. Totally correct. Number four, please. Eh, José Atilio, question. Evelyn, answer. Number four. Where do your parents live? They live at 58 Ars, Ars Street. Ars Street, right? Okie dokie. I like it, right? I like it. Very good. So I have a question. 
Let me see who, who I have a question. To Evelyn, right? Evelyn, I have a question for you. Yes. It's a difficult question. Pay attention, please. Pay attention. Okay. Well, well, in fact, it's in Spanish, Evelyn. It's okay? Um, <laughs> no sé, no entendí. Okay. The question is in Spanish. Ah, okay. Y tengo yeah. que contestar en inglés. Well, if you want. Okay. 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 Listen. ¿De qué color eran las mangas del chaleco rojo de Napoleón? No tenía mangas. Los chalecos no tienen mangas. Excelente. No, no sé cómo explicarlo en inglés. Lo no, siento. no, that's okay. No, no, that's okay. Even okay. In, in English it's more complicated to say the, the bed, the what color were the, the sleeves of the best of Napoleon, right? It's more complicated. Right? Uh, okay. okay, thank you. Thank you, Evelyn. Now, William, okay. this question is for you. William, are you ready? William? Yes, dear. Okay, good. Sorry to say in Spanish, but you can answer in, in English if you want. Eh, tomando en cuenta que iban de dos en dos, ¿cuántos animales logró meter Moisés al arca? Ninguno. Why? ¿Por qué? Why? No es. Eh, que... <laughs> very good. William, you're very intelligent. My goodness. Thank you very much. Right? Okay, now let's go to the next part, right? No, you are very smart. I cannot make this question for you, right? Now, let me see. Erase. It was Noah. In English, you say Noah. Noah. Moses, Moses, and Noah, right? Good. Now, let's continue using preposition of place, right? Uh, where does or do? I live in on at Cuscatlan Avenue. So what is the correct? Right now, this is for general, right? I will help you. I will help you. At la numero a teacher, where, where do you live? Where do you live, right? Okay. Letter A, you say, right? Letter A. Where do you live? Letter A, where do you live? Uh -huh. Okay, I live in, on, or at? 12. At. 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 Correct, at. Why? Because we are giving the number, right? Number two, volunteers. Your boss. Where does your boss live? Live. Where does your boss live? She lives. She lives at. No, no, I no, I can see. Uh, she lives in an apartment building at a uh, thirty eighth Street mm. on thirty eighth Street. Very good. On. Why? Porque aquí no Because... estamos dando el número de la casa. No number of the house. Mm -hmm. Same the number of the street, right? Yeah. So, and surface. 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 So we say on. Superficie, right? Number three. Volunteers, where do or does your friends work? Friends. Plural. Plural. Uh-huh. Where do your friends work? Excellent, excellent. Also, where do your friends work? They work? They work in an in a office You building. can say in or you can say uh, at, right? We're going to use in this context in. In an office building near the park. Good, thank you. And number four. Where... Do or does Robert Roberto? Does. does are you sure? He's totally correct. Does number four, letter B. He works at pharmacy, at a pharmacy right? 
You can also say in a pharmacy, right? No problem, at or in. And number five, where, where do you go? A donde I wanna know. So where? Do or does? Do. Do. do, ladies and gentlemen, from San Francisco, California, Jose Tilio says, do. Where do you go out for dinner? Me? ¿Dónde vas a cenar, right? Me, I go to a nice Chinese restaurant. Okay, in El Salvador we say Chinese restaurant. In Guatemala they say Chinese restaurant. In Mexico they say Chinese restaurant. And in China? Y en China, ¿cómo le llaman a la comida china? It's a mystery, right? <laughs> what do you think? Other mystery. Goofy is a dog, right? Ruff, 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 it's a dog. And Pluto, Pluto is a dog too. But Pluto is the pet of Goofy, right? Pluto es la mascota de, de Goofy, que es un perro. La mascota de un perro es otro perro. O sea, come on. Do you understand? I don't know. Okay. Why Donald Duck, after he takes a shower, he uses a towel? ¿Por qué el pato Donald, después de bañarse, usa una toalla alrededor? De, y después ya no anda sin nada. Why? It's a mystery. Good. Sorry, class. I'm just uh, making you wake up, right? Solo estoy uh, contándole para que estén despiertos, yes? Good. Number five. Where do you go out for dinner? Me, I go to a nice Chinese restaurant in the mall, at the mall, or on the mall. In, in the mall. In the mall. It's more appropriate to say. You can say at, but here in this context, it's more appropriate to say in the mall. Number six is where does or where do no. they exercise? Do. Where do they exercise? My goodness. And let it be. They exercise at home. At home. At home. At home. Can we say in home? Yes or no? Yes. Yes. No, this is deception. Why? It's an exception. Oh. It's similar to say, for example, eh, huevo sin H. <laughs> Hacer sin H, right? Hervir sin H. And then you say, bueno, y para que sirve la H. Ah, sí. <laughs> oh, it's part of the language. No hay otra explicación, es parte del lenguaje. Hay que usarla, ni modo. The same here. At home. Only at. No more. Just at, right? Okay, let me see. I have a message. Tengo un mensaje acá. Eh, cool. Ada. Okay, Ada. Nice. Activation. Tenemos otro estudiante activado. Thank you, Ada. Okay. Vamos a ver. Jessica Carolina. Estenia, Freddy, Jonathan, solamente, son los que nos faltan este día. Good. Nice. So, repeat after me, please. Ready? Are you ready? Repeat after me. Where do you live? I live at 12 Cuscatlán Avenue. Where does your boss live? She lives in an apartment building on 30th Street. On 30th Street. Repeat, please. Number three. Where do your friends work? They work in an office building near the park.
Where does Roberto work? He works at a pharmacy. Where do you go out for dinner? Me? I go to a nice Chinese restaurant in the mall. I go to a nice Chinese restaurant in the mall. Where do they exercise? Up and down. Up and down. Where do they exercise? They exercise at home, right? One, two, three. Okay, one, two, three. I imagine Jose Atilio doing exercise at home, right? One, two, three. <laughs> no, no, Jose Atilio, no. No, okay, yes, no problem. Better coffee and semita. <laughs> Better. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. Now? We're going to participate. Let me see. I want a student who makes the questions one, two, and three. Volunteers, please raise your hands. Okay. Oh, it's, it's me. Oh. <laughs> no, I want, I want a student. No, the teacher, right? Okay, Elsa, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Elsa, you made the questions one, two, and three. Now I want the answers. One, two, three. Volunteers? Diez cuatro. Diez cuatro. Okay, me? It's Delia. Delia, okay, Delia. Okay, questions. One, two, three. Elsa. Answers. One, two, three. Delia, right? Elsa, questions? Delia, mm -hmm. answers. Okay. One, two, three, action. Where do you live? I live at 12 Cuscatlan Avenue. Where does your boss live? She lives in an apartment building on 30th Street. Where do, you, where do your friends work? They work in an office building near the park. Thank you very much. Dudley, wake up, Dudley. Se me está durmiendo este Dudley, no, no me quiere ayudar, ok. Claps, Dudley. Congratulations, congratulations, nice. Yeah, I like it. Yeah. Ok, thank you. Number four, five, and six, questions? Help me, me please. Did. Me eh, teacher. Jessica, oh, Kenya, Kenya, sorry, Kenya. Questions, now. Answers? The answers? Kenya, the questions. The answers? Who, please? Volunteers? No se me escondan, no se me escondan. Diez cuatro, diez cuatro, volunteers. Me, teacher. Thank you, Brenda. Okay. Uh, Kenya, the questions. Brenda, the answers. Ready? Go. Where does Roberto work? They work in an office building near the no. park. Number no. four. Number four. Oh, he works at a pharmacy. He works, right? When, okay. Where do you go out for dinner? Me, I go to nice. Chinese restaurant in the mall. Where do they exercise? They exercise at home. Nice. Ah, who's it? No, gracias. No, thank you, please. Thank you, sir. <laughs> sir, yes, sir. Right? Okay, now uh, I will take the attendance. Elsa? Present teacher. 
Jessica Carolina. Jessica Araceli. Present teacher. Freddy. Estenia. Kenia. Present. Gracias, María. Eh, Delia. Present teacher. Ada. Present. Jonathan. René Alexi. Oh, here. Let me see. Aquí tengo un mensaje. Present teacher. Ah, ok. Very good, René Alexi. Está pendiente ahí. Anda afuera, pero él está pendiente. Yes. De oyente, lo vamos a poner. Así. Brenda. Present. Thank you. Ingrid. Present teacher. ¿Ya puede participar, Ingrid? Sí, teacher. Solo denme unos minutos. Ok, good. Eh, Jessica Pérez. Present. José Atilio. Present. Eh, Brenda Lee. Vamos a poner de oyente, Brenda Lee. Ok, eh, María René. Present. Eh, ¿Ya puede participar, María René? Sí. Excelente oso. Ok, eh, Evelyn. Present teacher. William. Present. Erenia. Erenia. Sorry. Hello, Erenia. Será que Present. Ah, sorry, sorry. Excuse me. I didn't listen, right? Okay, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, right? Good. Now, let's continue working. Let's continue working. Ooh, sorry. Que hice, que hice. Hice cosas, no? Sorry. Now, let's see. Good. Oh, finish? Oh, okay. We finish, right? We finish the presentation. Remember, I will send the presentation uh, uh, to the group, right? To the group, right? I have another question, please. Uh, are you watching the videos that I'm sending every day? ¿Están viendo los videos que les envío todos los días? Yes or no? Yes, 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 teacher. Yes, 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 okay. Yes. Opinion, ¿qué opinan? ¿Le gustan? ¿Quieren un cambio? ¿Quieren más? ¿Quieren menos? What do you think? A mí me gustan. Thank you, teacher. Okay, you're welcome. El de los libros es un poco largo, ¿verdad? Pero, pero si tienen tiempo el fin de semana, pues, aunque sea un capítulo, ahí pueden leer del audiolibro, ¿verdad? El de los miércoles es un examen para niños. Pero como somos el básico uno, pues, somos niños en inglés, ¿verdad? Y el de música los jueves, pues, ahí estamos. ¿Cuál fue la última canción que, que mandé? Vamos a ver si alguien se acuerda. El jueves pasado mandé una canción. Time after time. Time after time, right? Cindy Lauper. Time after time. Very good, very romantic. Yes. Okay. Very good. So thank you very much for watching. Thank you for watching the videos. Remember, you have to practice every day. Music. Movies, internet, friends, neighbors, family members, classmates. If you say, uh, eh, Delia, uh, hello, Elsa, can I practice with you? Oh, yes, say Elsa. Yes, we practice. <laughs> it's possible. I don't know. <laughs> it's possible. Yeah. Okay. Very good. Now let's continue, right? 
I will share a book, the famous book. You like this book, right? I like it because it's very practical. It's very practical, right? Okay. I'll open. Documents, Inglés Corporativo. Okay. Interchange Zero. Okay, okay, I have it here. Okay. Compartir audio, let me see. Okay, here it is, right? Okay, the page is number 86. Eighty six. Okay. Good. Now, look at these places, right? A post office, a drugstore, a gas station, a department store, a bank, a bookstore, a coffee shop, a supermarket. So these are places you can find in a city. In San Salvador, for example, you can find these places, right? Yes? Okay, now please pay attention here uh, that you have this sentence. Look. You can buy aspirin. Where? Where can you buy aspirin? Letter B. You can buy aspirin at a drugstore. You can buy aspirin at a drugstore. So number one is letter B, right? Yes? Okay, now. Let's go to number two, right? Number two. Where can you buy bread? Where can you buy bread? Um, Look at this, I will copy here. Where can you buy, buy bread? Atilio, where can you buy bread? Um, supermarket. Mm -hmm. So is you can say you can buy I can buy um, bre bread? Uh, bread in a supermarket. You can buy uh, bread in a supermarket, right? Okay. Now, so for that reason, supermarket, right? Ah, here, letter H. So, number letter two, H. bread is letter Age. Age. No lo voy a copiar porque el espacio es muy chiquito, right? Voy a estar moviendo, así que no resulta un poco difícil. So, remember, number two is letter H, right? You can buy bread in a supermarket. Oh, also, Jose Atilio, you can say at a supermarket. The two answers are correct. In and at. Okay, good. A dictionary. Where can you buy a dictionary, volunteers? Where can I buy a dictionary? A F t-shirt. F, correct. So say, you can buy... You can buy a dictionary, say. Come on, repeat. You can buy a, a dictionary. 
you you can buy a dictionary at at bookstore excellent so you can buy a dictionary at a bookstore you can say in a bookstore no problem too, right okay gasoline where can you buy gasoline? I can buy gasoline in, um, at a gas station. At a gas station. Good. You can buy gasoline at a gas station, right? Or gasoline station, the same, right? Now, a sandwich. Mm, yummy, yummy. A sandwich. Where can you buy a sandwich? Where can you buy a sandwich? You can, okay, so you can buy a sandwich, sandwich at, at coffee shop. A coffee shop? Yes. You can buy a sandwich at a at, coffee shop. At, at. Can you say in a coffee shop? Yes or no? Yes. Yes, of course. Yes, you can say that, right? Okay, and finally, oh no, I have three more, right? Stamps. Where can you buy stamps? You can, you can buy a stamp at a post office. At a post office, yes. So, today, no more, right? Ya nadie usa cartas, ya nadie escribe cartas. <laughs> oh, it was very romantic. Era tan bonito escribir cartas, right? But, no more. WhatsApp only, right? Or Facebook. Or Snapchat. Etc, etc. We have many forms to or oh, in the telephone in the telephone you, you can talk to anybody in the world right so but in the past we used to buy stamps up at a post office right what about suit where can you buy a suit you can buy suit at the department store you can buy a suit at a department store right also, there are two places in San Salvador where you can buy a suit. In El Agachón, right? <laughs> El Agachón or in El Baja Mesa, right? Okay, <laughs> yes. Oh, in <clears throat> shopping, shopping center, shopping center, okay? <laughs> okay, but here you said a department store, you know, Sara, Simán, Prisma, Moda. Okay, Sanborns, et cetera, et cetera, right? Um, oh, there are many, many, many stores, right? Okay, good. What about a traveler checks? Where can you buy a traveler check? Buy a traveler check, travel check at, at a bank. You can buy, uh huh. Traveler, che traveler check, traveler checks at a bank. Okay, now listen to the audio, please. Unit 13. You can't miss it. Page 86, exercise 1, word power, places and things. Part A. Where can you buy these things? Match the things with the places. Then listen and practice. 1. You can buy aspirin at a drugstore. 2. You can buy bread at a supermarket. 3. You can buy a dictionary at a bookstore. 4. You can buy gasoline at a gas station. 5. You can buy a sandwich at a coffee shop. 6. You can buy stamps at a post office. 
7. You can buy a suit at a department store. 8. You can buy traveler's checks at a bank. Okay, again, please, again. Unit 13, size 1, word power. The things with the places. Then listen and practice. 1. You can buy aspirin at a drugstore. 2. You can buy bread at a supermarket. 3. You can buy a dictionary at a bookstore. 4. You can buy gasoline at a gas station. 5. You can buy a sandwich at a coffee shop. 6. You can buy stamps at a post office. 7. You can buy a suit at a department store. 8. You can buy traveler's checks at a bank. Good. Now, question and answer, right? Question and answer. Okay, ready? Okay, I will say one student, and this student is going to make the question to somebody in the group, right? Now, Elsa, please. Aspirin. The question is, where, where do can, you? You, can you buy a stamp? Where can you buy bread? Where can you buy an aspirin? Where can you buy a, buy a dictionary? Etc. Etc. Right? Very well. Okay. So, Elsa, who? A person. Anybody in the group? Okay. Uh, you where, take the decision, Elsa. You take the decision. Where can you buy uh, bread? Uh, uh, oh, sorry, a aspirin. 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 Mm. Okay. Where can you buy asp aspirin? Ocetilio? You can buy aspirin um, in a, a drugstore. In a drugstore or at a drugstore. The two are correct. With Jose Atilio, bread. Other big thing. Sorry, another student. Excuse, excuse me, excuse me. Uh, okay. Um, let me see. And we have uh, um, Erenia, William, Evelyn, Maria yes, Rene. Jessica Araceli. Jessica Raceli. Sí. Where can I can I buy it? Can you buy? Uh -huh. Or, uh -huh. Where can, can you buy? buy? Uh -huh. Jessica Raceli, where can I buy um bread? Mm -hmm. Can I buy medico? Bread? Bread. Bread. No sé, teacher. Okay, where can you get bread? In a bank? In a department store? Or in a supermarket? Quiero ver. In department store, bank, or supermarket? It's bread. Ah, okay. That is the question, right? <laughs> bread is pan. <laughs> okay. And I, 
Ah, de supermarket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, but say, you can buy, you can buy bread. You can buy bread. At? At the supermarket. Good, thank you. Now, Jessica Caraceli, another student, a dictionary, please. A dictionary. Uh, <coughs> Ingrid? Where can you buy a dictionary? Can you buy? You can buy. You can buy. Can you can buy dictionary at a bookstore? Excellent. Also, bookstore, right? Next one, Ingrid. Gasoline. William and William Antonio. Where can where can you buy gasoline? Gasoline. Gasoline. No, gasoline. 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 You can. You can buy gasoline at gas station. Okay, continue, please, William. Uh, a sandwich. Mm, Elsa, no sé si ya participa. No, no, she made the question. Now you, she received the question, right? You can ask her, no problem. Elsa, uh, where can you... A sandwich. Where can you buy? Where can where can you buy a sandwich? I can buy a sandwich at a coffee shop. Elsa, stand, please. Other student, please. Okay. Eh. Erenia? Teacher? Yes, Erenia, yes, Erenia. Erenia, where can you buy a uh, stamps? Oh, stamps. Stamps. Plural, yes. Erenia, Erenia. I I can buy stamps at a post office. Okay, thank you. A suit. Erenia suggestions. Um, uh, Maria René, casi no le hemos preguntado. Ni a Evelyn. Casi no le hemos preguntado a Kenia. A Evelyn. Y a Elsa no le hemos preguntado nunca. No. Ok. Ajá, Evelyn. Ajá, Erenia. Evelyn. Evelyn, where, where can you buy a suit? A suit. A suit. A traje, right? Un, un traje, a suit. Ajá. Hello, hello. Okay, so maybe Maria René or maybe Kenya. Irene, please re redirect the question. Kenya. You can. Yes. You can. Each of one. Can you buy a suit? A suit. A suit. You can buy a suit at the department store. 
Okay, very good. Right? A suite is in a hotel, right? A suite. But a suit is for traje, right? Okay, uh, now a suit, yes. Kenya, please, traveler checks. Where can you buy a traveler checks? <gasps> Pero se me lo voy a decir aquí. Delia, Ada, Ada, Ada no lo hemos preguntado, come on. Ah, uh, bueno, Ada. Ajá, Ada, come on, Ada. You go. Ah. Where can you buy a traveler check? Um, you can, yo... You can buy a uh, traveler checks. Traveler checks a bank. Arabank, say Arabank. Arabank. Very good. Thank you. Thank you very much. Right. Okay. Now let's erase this. Erase. Oopsie. ¿Qué pasó? Paso, amiguitos. Ok, good. Now, let's practice, right? Location of places. Locations. Ok, now, I need a new swim, swimsuit, right? Traje de baño. So, here we have the family, the Anderson family, right? What do they need? And where are they going to get those things, right? Ready? Listen, please. Page 87, exercise 2, listening. I need a new swimsuit. Part A. Listen to the Anderson family's conversations. What do they need? Where are they going to get the things? Complete the chart. One. Jean, are you going to come to the beach with us tomorrow? Yes, but I need a new swimsuit. I'm going to go to a department store this afternoon. Maybe I can find one. Good. Can I go with you? I need to get some things, too. Number one. Two. Are you going to look for some clothes, Mom? Oh, no. I'm going to go to the supermarket. What do you need? I just need some cookies for tomorrow. We're going to take a picnic lunch to the beach. Oh, good. Can you get chocolate cookies? Sure. Three. What's wrong, Dad? I have a terrible headache. Oh, that's too bad. Do we have any aspirin? I can't find any in the house. No, we don't. Sorry. Hmm. I need some right now. I'm going to go to the drugstore and get some. Four. Where are you going, Mike? To the bookstore. What for? Do you need a book? No, I want a magazine. I need something to read at the beach tomorrow. Are you going to walk? No, drive. Hey, where's the car? Your father has it. He's at the drugstore. Okay. Now... Jean is talking about what? A swimsuit, right? A swimsuit. And where is she going to buy the swimsuit? At the department store. Listen again for last time, right? New swimsuit. Jean, are you going to come to the beach with us tomorrow? Yes, but I need a new swimsuit. I'm going to go to a department store this afternoon. Maybe I can find one. Good. Can I go with you? I need to get some things, too. Good. So where, repeat please, where is Jean going to buy a swimsuit? Uh, I start. In a... In a department store. Department... Store, 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 right? In a department store. Okay, let's continue talking about mom. Two. 
too. Are you going to look for some clothes, Mom? Oh, no. I'm going to go to the supermarket. What do you need? I just need some cookies for tomorrow. We're going to take a picnic lunch to the beach. Oh, good. Can you get chocolate cookies? Sure. Okay, what does the mom need? Cookies. 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 Correct. Cookies. Mm. I like cookies. And where is she going to buy the cookies? At the supermarket. At the supermarket, yes. At the supermarket. Okay, continue, please. Three. What's wrong, Dad? I have a terrible headache. Oh, that's too bad. Do we have any aspirin? I can't find any in the house. No, we don't. Sorry. Hmm. I need some right now. I'm going to go to the drugstore and get some. Okay. So what does the dad need? An aspirin. Aspirin, right? Dad needs aspirin. Okay. And where is he going to get the aspirin? Um, drugstore. Okay, at a drugstore. Tienda donde venden drogas, right? Drugstore. Pero drogas de las buenas, ¿no? Teacher. Yes, please. C cookies. Ah, cookies. Lleva doble. Double oh. E? Yeah, I don't remember very oh. well, but if you say, yeah, you're right. Let me see. Uh, well, we're going to see at the end, but yeah. Cookies, cookies. Yes, I guess double E, double O, right? Let's copy with double O. Cookies. Ah. Okay. Cookies. Nice. Now let's talk about Mike. What happened with Mike? Listen, please. Four. Where are you going, Mike? To the bookstore. What for? Do you need a book? No, I want a magazine. I need something to read at the beach tomorrow. Are you going to walk? No, drive. Hey, where's the car? Your father has it. He's at the drugstore. Okay, what does Mike need? Magazine. Magazine, right? He needs a magazine. Okay, let me see. Where is he going to buy the magazine? At the bookstore. At the bookstore? bookstore. Okay, yes, totally right. He's going to buy... Uh, the magazine in a bookstore. Just give me a second. I'm investigating, investigating something here. Okay. Okay, good. So cookies is correct, double O, right? The teacher commit an also, right? <laughs> and it's with double O. So a magazine is going to buy this at... at a uh, bookstore, right? Bookstore. You can say in a bookstore too, right? But because here we're talking about direction, we can say at a bookstore, right? Okay, class, any question about this? No? Okay, we're going to make a challenge exercise, right? Vamos a hacer un ejercicio bien... Retador, bien bonito. Yes. I love this exercise. Okay, Jessica, copiado, no problem. 
Así que Jessica, oyente. Good. Now, let's erase everything here. Okay, here's the exercise, right? Please check it out, the, the questions. Let's check it out, the questions here, right? Here, right? So these are the questions, right? Now, okay, now here we have some questions, right? That you can ask someone directly, right? Today, I will start making this exercise with uh, Jose Atilio, right? And Delia, okay? Pay attention because this exercise is very difficult, so pay attention. Jose Atilio is going to start making this question. Look. This is the question. Where do you work? Right? Mm -hmm. This is the question. And I will make this question to Atilio, right? Okay? Okay. Jose Tilio, begin. Let's make this question to, to Delia, please. Delia, where do you work? I work in Graf Depot. Jose Tilio, where does Delia work? Delia works. I don't know. Repeat the company in Adam. Graf Depot. Graf Depot. Sorry. Oh, thank you. Now, make this question to, to Delia, Jose Tilio. Okay. Delia, what do you do exactly? I I sell supplies gra uh, supplies graphic supplies. Jose Atilio, what does Delia do exactly? Delia Delia do exactly make a supply at least. Mm. Sells a uh, graphic. Ah, graphic supplying. Graphic supplying. Okay, Celia sells. Celia sells graphic supply. Okay, thank you very much. Now, ask her, please. Is your job interesting, say? Celia, is your job interesting? Yes, it is. Interesting. Jose Atilio, is her job interesting? Mm. Mm, yes. Her job is very interesting. Oh, yes, it is. Right? Yes, it is. Yes. No. Uh, Jose Atilio, is... Let's make this question. Instead of saying interesting, say difficult. Mio, I don't know. No, to Delia, to Delia. Is your job difficult? Ah, okay. Delia, is your job difficult? Yes, it is. Is her job difficult, Satilio? Yes. Her does? Yes, it is. Ah, is. Yes, it is. 
Yes, it is. Ah, we're, to, we're talking about the job, right? What time, say this question, what time do you use to start working, right? Okay. Delia, what time do you start work? I start work at 7.30 a.m. What time does Delia start work? What time does she start work? She start work uh, at... Stars, stars, she starts. She starts. She starts work at 10.30 a.m. Okay, very good. Just give me a second, please. Eh, tenemos a Freddy en la línea. Freddy, Freddy, hello. Hello, Freddy. teacher. Hello, welcome. Hey, we miss you. Estamos teacher, preocupados que no, no se había podido conectar. ¿Qué pasó? ¿Es su internet o tiene problemas es que, técnicos es que... con el link? Fíjese de que no estoy en el país, entonces se me ah. ha dado un problema con el internet. Le comenté el otro día, ¿verdad? Sí, sí. Eh, y Ajá. le preguntó a los de inglés corporativo si se podía. Sí. Okay. Fíjese de que ellos me dijeron de que tratara lo posible de al menos conectarme eh, lo más que pudiera, ¿verdad? Mm. Pero mm, resulta que se me dio el problema que ya estando acá en el país no me tomaba el internet mío, sino que hasta el del hotel. Entonces, ahorita que acabo de venir de, lo, uh, acabo de venir de campo, llegué al hotel, me pude conectar. Ayer muy noche vine. Ah, ok. Muy bien. Uh -huh. Mientras pueda, ratito. pues. Ok. Sí. I understand. Thank you. Sí, es que yo pensé que era problema de, de, de link, pero no, es que está fuera del país. ¿Cómo está el clima allá en Francia? En Perú está bien. Ah, Perú, yes. Sí, <ríe> ha llovido poco. Ah, ok, interesting. Ahí nos manda algunas fotos ahí, nos trae el semita, okay. per, semita peruana. <ríe> Pupusas peruanas. Sí. La comida peruana es deliciosa. Okay. Ah, sí. Okay. Lo fuerte en los mariscos. Oh, excuse me. Sí. The lobster, langosta. <ríe> Okay, oh. thank you, thank you, Freddy. Now pay attention. Thank you, now, let's continue. Jose Atilio, when do you finish work? To Delia. Mm. Delia, when do you finish work? I finish work at uh, five quarter after five. A quarter after five. Uh -huh. eh, Jose Atilio, when does she finish work? She finishes work. She finishes? She finishes she work. She finishes work. Um, and 5.15. 5.15. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Next question. Continue, continue. Delia. Do you like your work? Do your job? Yes, I like it. Jose Tilio, does Delia like her work? Yes. She likes. Yes, she does. Ah, yes, she does. Continue. Delia, what do you do after work? Uh, I study English online. Claro, very good. That's it, right? Now we're going to make it more complicated. Hoy lo vamos a hacer más complicado. Yes, Erenia, ready? Okay, Erenia, William, and let me see, Ingrid. Ele Erenia, William, and Ingrid, right? Okay, so Erenia, you made the question to William, and William made the question to Ingrid, right? Okay, let's begin, William. Question number one, where do you work? 
Ingrid, you answer, please. William, where do you work? No, no, wait, wait. William made the question. To Ingrid. La pregunta se le hago a Ingrid. Yes. Say, if you want, you can use Ingrid's name. Say, Ingrid, where do you work? Uh -huh. Come on. Ingrid, where do you work? Yes. No, where? Yes, I work in English Corporativo, me. And Ingrid? Where? Where do you work? Where do you work? Mm -hmm. Where? Where do you work? Mm -hmm. So you have to say, I work in Inversiones Santa Bárbara. Yes. Ajá, but say. Pero pregúntele a William. Él está preguntando dónde trabaja usted. Yes. Where do you work? Usted le va a decir, I work in. Okay. I work in Inversiones Santa Bárbara. Okay, Erenia. Sí. To William. William, say. Erenia. William. Uh, William. Where does... Where do you work? No, no. Where does Ingrid... William, where does Ingrid work? She is... No, she work. works. No, she works. She, she works in... In versiones... Eh, Santa? In the, Santa Bárbara. Yes, okay. Continue. What do you do exactly? Say, Ingrid. William. Ingrid, uh -huh. what, do you, what do you do exactly? ¿Qué hace exactamente? What do you do exactly? Este, anali, kimit analysis. Okay, I, I make. I make. Uh -huh. I will copy, I will copy for you. Just give me a second. <laughs> I make. I make. Clinic. Analysis. No, no, no teacher, es no. kimic. Chemic, chemistry, right? Yes. Analysis. Okay. I make. I make chemic. Chemistry. 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 Chemistry, chemistry analysis. Oh, okay. Irenia? William, what that she does. Exactly. What does she do? What does she do exactly? She she do exactly. She makes. She makes. She make. She make. She make chemistry. She makes analysis. Okay. Good. Continue, William. Ingrid, oh. is your hub interesting? Yes. It is. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Erenia? Is her job difficult? No, interesting. 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 Yes. Yes, it is. It is. Okay, now, is your job difficult, say, William? Ingrid, is your job difficult? Yes, it okay, is. Okay, wait, 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 Ingrid. <laughs> William, William. William, el preguntón aquí, per permítan, por favor. <laughs> okay, William, come Ingrid, on. Ingrid, is your job interesting? No, is your job difficult? Difficult. Yeah, yes, yes. Ingrid. Ingrid, your heart, your heart is difficult. No, again, li listen, listen, William. Is your job, is your job is difficult? Your job, 
Difficult. Difficult. Uh -huh. Yes, English? it is. Yes, it is. Erenia. Is her job difficult? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Okay. Next one. Continue, William. Ingrid, what time do you start work? I start work 7 a.m. Erenia? When, what time does she start work? She start work and 7 p.m. At 7 p.m., right? Yes, Ingrid. Yes. A las 7 de la noche comienza a trabajar. Yes, a.m. Ah, a.m. 7 a.m., of course, yes. Okay, <laughs> now William. Ingrid. When do you finish? Ah, no, 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 sorry. Me faltó que preguntar a Erenia, ¿verdad? <laughs> ok, Erenia. Eh, eh, sí, ya pregunté. Ah, ya. Yeah. Oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> ok, William. When Ingrid, do you finish? When do you finish work? I finish work 5 p.m. When does she finish work? She finished work 5 p.m. Ingrid, do you like your job? Your job? Do you like your job? 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 Yes, it is. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Does she like her job? Yes, it is. Yes, she does. Yes, she does. Ingrid, what do you do after work? Yes. No, no, no. What do you do? ¿Qué hace después de trabajar? I study English. Erenia. What does she do after work? She does. No, she English. studies. She studies. She studies English. Okay, very good. Thank you very much, Delia. Thank you, Jose Atilio. Thank you, Erenia. Thank you, William. And thank you, Ingrid. Right? And for everybody in the class. I really like this class today. It was very interesting and difficult, right? Yes or no, uh, William? It's difficult, right? You change the perspective. Uh, you change the perspective. Se cambia la perspectiva, ¿no? Yo le pregunto a otra persona y viene otro y me pregunta, mira, ¿y qué te dijo? ¿Qué te dijo? ¿Dónde trabaja? ¿Qué hora comienza a trabajar? Ok. <laughs> oh, yes. ¿Cómo decirlo en inglés, no? Entonces es lo, es lo difícil. Yes. Ok, class. Eh, I'll take the attendance. Nos vamos a mimir. Solo me voy a quedar con... Eh, Jessica Pérez podría quedarse esta noche Jessica ok, es que me parece que Jessica se levantó un ratito entonces no sé si María René se puede quedar 10 minutos más María René no, yo ahora no puedo no, ok, no, don't worry Evelyn está cuidando el bebé entonces sería con William William puede quedarse 10 minutitos yes Ok, excelente uso. Ok, solo déjeme anotarlo aquí. William. Thank you. Ok, now please, ready. Eh, Elsa, present. present. Good Have night. a good night. God bless you. See you tomorrow. Jessica Carolina. Ok, Jessica Araceli. Present. Ok, good night. Good night. God bless you. Eh, Estenia Freddy Freddy Present teacher ¿Qué, ¿Qué le pareció el ejercicio, Freddy? 
Eh, es algo difícil. Interesante, teacher. Mañana lo vamos Sí, a poner un poco. a usted. Mañana lo vamos a poner a usted, oiga. Sí. Yes, ahí se conecta, no va a andar de vago ahí en Perú. <risa> ok. No, aquí vamos a estar. Ok, Bien. have a good Bien. night. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good See night. you. See you. Ok, eh, Kenia. Present, teacher. Thank you, have a good night. Gracias, María. Ok, eh, Delia. Present, teacher. Good night. Good night. Ada. Present, teacher. See you tomorrow, Ada. Bye bye. Bye bye. Eh, René Alexia me dijo presente, ahí está. Eh, Brenda. Present, good night. Good night, Ingrid. Present, teacher. See you tomorrow, Ingrid. Good night. Good night. Jessica Pérez. Estoy oyendo que okay. José Atilio. Present, teacher. Ok, bye bye. Bye. Eh, Brenda Lee. Ok, Brenda Lee, presente. Ok, thank you, Brenda Lee. Eh, María René. Present. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Evelyn. Present. Good night. See you tomorrow. William. Present. Ok, no se me vaya a ir, William. En Sten, Erenia, sorry. Present. Good night. Ok, good night. See you, right? Ah, aquí está Estenia también. Estenia, hello. Me copia, Estenia. Estenia, hello, hello. Ok, pero bien, le vamos a poner asistencia porque aquí está en la pantalla. Ok. En Jessica Pérez, en Estenia, have a good night. Ok, William, how are you? ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo me lo trata la vida? Ahí, trabajando. Trabajando. Usted es ingeniero, ¿verdad, William? Tenemos el técnico nada más en ingeniería. Ah, ok, sí. Eh, me imagino que salió del ITCA, Ricaldone. Eh, en el oriente salí de la Universidad de Gerardo Barrios. Ah, ok, no. He escuchado buenas, buenas referencias de esa universidad. Yes. Sí, sí. <risa> Excelente, muy bien. Pero vive aquí en San Salvador. Eh, no, viajamos cada fin de semana acá. Ah, ok, good. Bueno, este, ¿hay algún tema en especial, William, que le cueste o que quisiera que le explicara detalladamente? Sí, sí. Mucha, bueno, a veces nos, nos, nos enredamos en, en palabras que no, no, no entendemos, ¿verdad? O no sabemos sí. qué significa. Pero okay. eh, lo que a veces, lo que me dio bastante anteriormente, pero ya avanzando eh, el curso, voy entendiendo más o menos, es con el Do y el das. El do y el das, sí. Antes le voy a dar un consejo, William. Fíjese que este, uno cuando empieza a estudiar inglés, eh, hay un montón de palabras que no las entiende. Entonces uno como que se frustra ¿verdad? y dice, no entiendo esta palabra. Pero en realidad, si usted entiende el 50%, por ejemplo, eh, es una ganancia, ¿no? Entonces... En, y uno después va comprendiendo que poco a poco después ya va al 60, 70, y luego hasta que ya llega a nivel intermedio y entiende todo, ¿verdad? Ah. Entonces, ese es mi consejo. Eh, cuando usted escuche una canción, cuando vea una película, o cuando estemos en clases, si hay palabras que no entienda, si es posible, copie las aparte. ¿o? Si es posible, si le queda el tiempo. Y si no, no se preocupe, porque hasta después va a ir entendiendo el vocabulario completamente, ¿verdad? Ahora bien, con las estructuras gramaticales, le digo que ni las personas que viven en Estados Unidos entienden todo esto, ¿verdad? Okay, igual que en El Salvador, allá también hay, en inglés se llama illiteracy, se llama analfabetas, o sea, hay personas que no, que no estudian, pues, y son millones, no crea que solo son dos o tres, no, son millones de personas, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, lo que estudiamos aquí es, se llama eh, inglés de libro, ¿verdad? Porque... En la vida real no crea que hablan así, ¿verdad? Yes, I do, no, I don't know. O sea, este es un lenguaje de, de libro que usted tiene que entenderlo para ya en la vida real ir a aplicarlo en la calle, ¿no? Sí, en la calle. Así que esperamos que no se detenga, William, y que ya cuando llegue intermedio, pues, 
con los teachers que estén, le, le enseñen así a hablar ya más a fluido, ¿verdad? Así que, ¿verdad? Y por lo tanto, ahorita solo vamos a explicarle lo del, lo del do y el das. Ok, so aquí tengo a Brenda Liz. Sí, Brenda Liz, está bien. Ya le copiamos aquí el mensaje. Ya está la asistencia de Brenda Liz aquí. Ok, ahorita le voy a compartir una pizarra. Eh, William. Y le vamos a explicar, vaya. Para comenzar, nosotros en, en español usamos lo que se llama la conjugación del verbo. Conjugación del verbo, ¿no? Dígame un verbo cualquiera. Eh, William. Sería correr, digamos. Sorry. Correr. Correr, correr, right. Ok. Bien, entonces yo. Yo corro, ¿verdad? Tú. Tú corres. Ellos corren. Nosotros corremos. Va, se va fijando que vamos cambiando el verbo, ¿verdad? ¿Sí? Y si es posible, William, en español, estamos hablando de español. No, esta no es clase de español, solo para que usted entienda el contexto, ¿verdad? Podemos eliminar el verbo, mire. El sujeto, perdón. Mire, se puede hacer. Ok, eliminamos. ¿Ya? Y cuando usted dice corro, ah, él es el que corre, ¿verdad? Corres, ah, tú corres. Corren, ah, ellos corren. Corremos, ah, nosotros. O sea que no es necesario que usted sepa eh, quién es el sujeto, porque el verbo me lo está diciendo, ¿verdad? Ok. Y en el caso de este verbo, estamos hablando del presente simple. ¿Necesita usted otra, alguna palabra, eh, William, para entender que estos verbos están en presente simple? ¿Usted entiende que cuando yo le digo corremos, estoy hablando del presente? En, en español, estoy hablando en español ahorita. Sí, ¿Lo sí. sí, ¿verdad? Obviamente. Entendemos. Porque en español no usamos el sujeto necesariamente. No es necesario. Usted lo quiere usar, bueno, y si no, no. Y segundo, vamos conjugando el verbo, es decir, lo vamos cambiando. Usamos la forma el pretérito perfecto, pretérito imperfecto, presente simple, pasado simple. Lo transformamos de montones de formas. Esto no existe en inglés, ahora sí llamamos a inglés. ¿Ok? El tema es el presente simple, present simple, o, o simple present, que es el mismo, ¿no? Y el verbo que usted me dijo es I run. Yo corro, mire. You run. They run. We run. My friends run. Vaya, de entrada, ¿cómo ve el verbo run? ¿Hay alguna transformación? No. no es el mismo verbo. Run, run, run. Es que no, no cambia. ¿Sí? Entonces, una de las características de los verbos en inglés, que no cambian. A veces le agregamos una S, a veces una ING, pero en general no cambia. Entonces, no se conjuga, podemos decir, el verbo. ¿sí? ¿Y puedo borrar yo el sujeto? No, no podemos. En inglés no se puede borrar el sujeto. ¿Ok? Entonces, esas son las características de el, el, el ¿cómo se llama? El presente simple. Que usted solo tiene un sujeto y un verbo. ¿sí? Ahora bien, si yo quiero hacer una oración negativa, ¿cómo puedo hacer? Solo pongo I run, hasta que no, no tiene lógica. Entonces, ellos, en lugar de conjugar el verbo, William, lo que hacen es poner un auxiliar. Y entonces... Ahí entran los auxiliares del pasado, del presente, del presente continuo, del futuro. Y yeah. aparecen los auxiliares de un montón de auxiliares, ¿sí? Pero en español no lo entendemos porque nosotros no usamos los auxiliares, solo en inglés. Y uno de los auxiliares es el do. Ok, el do. I do not run. 
Miren, yo no corro. I do not run. ¿Ok? You do not run. Do not run. They. Y si quiere usted lo puede contractar, miren. En lugar de decir do not, digo don't run. ¿eh? Ok. We don't run. Nosotros no corremos. Quiere decir, William, que el auxiliar me sirve para hacer oraciones negativas. ¿Sí? My friends. Más plural, don't, ¿verdad? Don't run. Hagamos uno en tercera persona. Digamos, my brother. En este caso usamos el das. Das. Does not, ¿verdad? O doesn't, contractado. Doesn't run. ¿Ok? Entonces, en el presente simple, en oraciones afirmativas, aquí sí me faltó ponerle oraciones afirmativas, miren. Perdón que no se lo puse. Afírmate. No. Ok, vamos a hacer esto. Vamos a expandirlo para que. Para que me entienda aquí cómo está la jugada. Ok. Perdone que esté aquí. Ok. No soy muy bueno redactando, William, lo siento. Okay. No ahí estamos, ok, ahí estamos. Entonces, estas son las oraciones negativas y estas son las afirmativas. Mire, ya para eh, indicar que la oración es negativa, tengo que usar el auxiliar. Y si quiero también hacer preguntas, mire, questions. También tengo que usar el auxiliar. ¿Sí? ¿Cómo pregunto si tú corres? Do you run? ¿Corres? Uh -huh. Aquí vamos a dar un espacio para, para responder también. ¿no? Do you run? Digo, yes, I do. O no. I don't. Quiero ver si me escasa el espacio aquí. Hasta ahí vamos a hacer lo que. Yes, I do. No, I don't. Entonces, mire, estamos utilizando el auxiliar. Quiere decir que como ellos no conjugan el verbo, el auxiliar en este contexto, el presente simple, me sirve. Número uno, para indicar que la oración está en presente. Número dos, para indicar que en este caso, si yo quiero hacerlo negativo, la oración esté negativa. Y número tres, ya no le pongo más preguntas porque ya no me alcanza el espacio. Pero número tres, que estoy haciendo preguntas. El do se usa para negativos, para preguntas y para respuestas. Si yo quiero hablar del pasado, uso el did. Si yo quiero hablar del presente perfecto, uso el have. Si yo quiero hablar de habilidades, yo puedo hacer esto, puedo hacer lo otro. Can, I can play, I can eh, drive, I can play eh, fútbol, ¿ya? Yeah? So, de acuerdo a lo que yo quiero expresar, así voy a usar un auxiliar. ¿Qué usamos nosotros en español? Conjugación del verbo. ¿Qué usan ellos en inglés? Auxiliares. ¿Y cuáles son los dos? Bueno, es uno solo, es un auxiliar, la verdad. El do y el das es el mismo, solo que para tercera persona usamos das, ¿sí? Y para las otras personas usamos el do. ¿eh? Si usted quiere traducir, William, eh, si usted quiere traducir el do, no va a poder hacerlo. ¿Por qué? Porque no existe en español. No hay un equivalente. Sí, lo que hacemos nosotros es conjugar el verbo. Aquí estoy, corro, corre, corremos. Pero no usamos el auxiliar. Por lo tanto, aquí solo lo traducimos como no corre. Tú no corres. Ellos no corren. Ok, así lo traducimos. Ok. Y otra cosa más. Si se fija, cuando, bueno, aquí voy a poner mi hermano, 
My brother runs. Aquí le agregamos una S, mire. Pero cuando ya usamos el auxiliar, hay una regla que dice que el verbo regresa a su forma original, mire. My brother runs con S y aquí sin S. ¿Ok? Más o menos le clarifiqué o lo dejé más perdido, William. No, no, no. Sí, sí, hoy sí yo he entendido bastante y mediante van las sesiones he ido comprendiendo más porque hemos estado utilizando más seguidos los auxiliares. Correcto, sí. Y, y, y hoy hemos podido entender más o menos cómo, cómo utilizarlo. Lo sí. que, como dice usted, el problema es uno buscarle traducir el do. Sí, no se puede. Sí, no se puede, entonces. Por eso es que, uno, por eso es que a veces nos parece de... difícil, ajá. Por eso nos cuesta, va William, entender por qué, qué, qué significa el due. No significa nada, solo significa que la oración está en presente simple. Negativo, pregunta o respuesta. Solo en el afirmativo no lo usamos, mire. ¿Ve? No se usa, solo en negativo. Entonces, para eso nos sirve el, el do y el da. Y yo les soy honesto, el ejercicio que les puse a hacer ahora estaba bien difícil. Pero miren, salieron ahí como sea, ¿verdad? Aunque sea rascando, pero ahí lo hicieron muy bien. La verdad es que lo hicieron muy bien. Y pues posteriormente vamos a seguir haciendo más ejercicio. ¿verdad? No solo en este nivel, sino que ya con otro teacher, pues. Sí. Ya van a, a utilizar más estructuras más. Y ok. Pues, los, los, los videos que están en la plataforma de YouTube los he descargado para estarlos. Excelente. Y también las... las, las si presen... desaparece, no sé. <risa> ok. Y las presentaciones también las ha descargado. También, también. Tengo, tengo un archivo directo solo de eso. Presentación Excelente. Y, y... Va, esto, por ejemplo, va a quedar sí, grabado, sí. mire. Eh, ahí puede ver la, la grabación después. Nuestra sesión aquí no, la puede ver. Ajá. Así es que este, mi consejo es que vea películas en inglés, de muñequitos. Escucha música de la suavecita, de la old school, ¿verdad? De la vieja escuela, pues, para, porque esa se entiende más. Y, y pues, cuando le quede tiempo ahí, vea los videos que mando yo al grupo, ¿verdad? A diario. William, no sé si tiene alguna otra pregunta. Creo que por el momento no. Bueno, pues, me agrada que esté en clase, pues, y que le esté metiendo ganas, que estamos desvelándonos, sí. pero es importante aprender, ¿sí? Sí, okay. sí, no, la verdad es que es una, una puerta que se abre, es una brecha que abre esto, y la verdad es que nosotros acá, eh, todas las normas que nos rigen están en inglés, entonces, ah. en traducir, entonces tengo que aprender, por lo menos para eso. Excelente, excelente. Sí. Ok, have a good night, William. See you night. tomorrow. Bye bye.